I'm sure that most of you have spent several nights staying up past midnight, either doing homework and studying, being on your phone, or just playing video games. And although it may seem fun at first to play to stay up playing Fortnite or through school or to scroll through TikTok, it can have an over it ha can have a big impact on the amount of sleep we get, which can have a big impact on our overall health. According to the Child Mind Institute, teenagers should be getting over nine hours of sleep each night, but most of us are only getting five to six hours. The thing that has the biggest impact on the amount of sleep that teenagers get is our is today's culture. Today's culture tends to value activities over sleep, which although can be very helpful for future graduation plans, can cause teenagers to experience sleep deprivation. So in order for students to start prioritizing sleep more, we have to go over the science of sleep, the benefits of it, and the side effects of not getting enough sleep. Now, although some people think that sleep is not really important and there's not much to it, there's, there's, more to, there's more to it than putting on a pair of comfy pajamas, closing our eyes, and then just dozing off. According to the National Institute for Neurological Disorders and Stroke, our brain, our sleep plays an important part of our everyday lives. It plays a garbage disposal role in removing any toxins that were built throughout the day in our brain. By removing these toxins, our brain is allowed to, to function properly for the next day ahead. Now the time that we sleep, for most of us, it seems, like, it seems like from the time we go to sleep and the time that we wake up are milliseconds away. But according to sleepfoundation.org, the time that we sleep is built up of multiple sleep periods, which are built up of different sleep cycles, which are, which are four, four stages. And each sleep cycle takes about 170 to 120 minutes. And each sleep cycle can be characterized into two different types of sleep rapid eye movement sleep or non-REM sleep. The first three stages are categorized into non-REM sleep because they have because we have lower body energy levels and our body is just getting used to the action of sleeping. The last stage of our sleep cycle is, is categorized into REM sleep and is where we start vividly dreaming and where our body energy levels start to increase again. Now there's more differences between the two different types of sleep. Some more differences include heart and breathing rates, which in REM sleep decrease because of our, of our low energy levels, and they are the opposite in REM sleep. In REM sleep, they increase because of our high energy, le energy levels. Another difference is muscle tone. In, in non-REM sleep, our muscle tone, our muscles are relaxed because of our low energy levels, and in REM sleep, our muscles are paralyzed because in REM sleep, we tend to have vivid dreams, and paralyzed muscles stop us from Flailing, flailing our arms around and just moving throughout while we're sleeping. Now that we dozed through the science of sleep, let's learn about the benefits that sleep can do for us. Now sleep isn't the only important thing that we should be prioritizing. There are, there are multiple things that we should prioritize besides sleep, which are the three pillars of health, which include nutrition, physical exercise, and sleep. We should prioritize all three in order to maintain good health because without prioritizing one, our health goes down the drain. According, according to Healthline, when, we, when we're sleep deprived, we tend to eat more foods with carbohydrates or also known as carbs. And according to the Heart Health Research Institute, eating more carbs can make us gain weight, decrease our metabolic rate, and increase our risk for heart disease. Other side effects, so in order for us to maintain good health, we should, we should prioritize all three pillars of health. Because, without, because when we start prioritizing all three, we can, we can experience several benefits, such as good heart health, a stronger immune system, better memory, and, better, and a better attention span. When we start to not prioritize any of these three pillars, we tend to to experience multiple side effects. One of the side effects being not being able to experience that clean and healthy lifestyle that we see on social media. Other side effects include poor emotional, emotional regulation, which according to Healthline, our emotional regulation re decreases by 60% when we are sleep deprived. Other side effects include a poor appetite, a poor immune system, and poor metabolic rate.
So although we may, although it may be hard for us to, to sleep for long periods of time, we should start prioritizing right when we're young because in order to avoid any future health consequences. By, get, by not getting enough sleep, we, we can increase our risk for some of the deadliest killers in the United States, such as heart disease, can, cancerous tumors, and brain diseases. Now, if you have trouble sleeping, there are multiple tips that you can follow in order to, to improve your sleep schedule. Some of these tips include avoid late night snacking, avoid sugar and caffeine, and make sure to turn off any electronics two hours before you go to sleep. By following these tips, you should be able to have a better sleep schedule and to improve your overall health and improve your sleep schedule. Now, teenagers tend to think that tend to think that sleep isn't important and tend to not prioritize it. We tend to prioritize multiple extracurricular activities over sleeping and including also including homework, studying, and video games. Now, although right now it doesn't seem like a big deal to only sleep about five to six hours a night, it can have serious consequences in the future. So today, I hope that after going learning about the science behind sleep, the benefits of sleep, and the side effects of sleep deprivation, I hope you've all considered improving your sleep schedule so you can avoid any risks in the future. Because after all, we can't dream big if we don't get enough sleep. Thank you.